Here's a nice, practical test of your ability to explain something using thermodynamics. Here, I have a rubber band, and through its tension, it's supporting some of the mass of a weight that otherwise rests on this scale. We can quantify the tension at any instant by comparing the reading on the scale to the unsupported mass of the weight. Here, I have an incandescent lamp, which can serve as a heat source. Now, for the practical question. If I heat up the rubber band, will it contract and pull harder on the weight, thereby reducing its apparent mass? Or will it lengthen and increase the apparent mass resting on the scale? What do you think? And why do you think it? I'll let you ponder for a moment. Well, if you're just not sure, or even if you are sure, I think we have to do the experiment, no? So, let's heat up this rubber band. Look at the scale. Do you see how the apparent weight is decreasing, which is to say the tension in the rubber band is increasing? Thus the rubber band is contracting as it gets hotter. Is that what you predicted? Let me offer a general explanation for this behavior. A rubber band is composed of a number of long polymer chains. Each of the single bonds between two carbon atoms in those chains can in principle rotate so that the chain is locally either straight or bent. There are many ways to rotate so that the chain bends. But there's only one way to rotate so that the chain is straight and maximally extended. Thus, entropy favors shorter, bent chains, and there is much less disorder when chains are straight. So, when are chains more straight? When the rubber band is stretched, so that chains must achieve longer lengths. When we heat the rubber band by increasing the temperature, we favor the free energy of structures having more entropy, which is to say that at equilibrium, we favor shorter chains over longer, and the rubber band contracts as a result. You can try a different experiment at home. Take a rubber band, ideally a somewhat larger one, and touch it to your upper lip. It ought to be room temperature, and you won't feel much of anything at all. But now stretch it to much greater length suddenly, and touch it to your upper lip again immediately. It should feel warmer than room temperature. A more detailed analysis is required to explain this behavior, although the entropy change we've just discussed continues to be part of the analysis. And should time permit, we'll explore that process in more detail.